Welcome everyone, this is Stefan from the French Cooking Academy and I don't think there's many ways to say this but today is the day we are cooking frog legs. Now the frog legs are a specialty from the town of Lyon, it's a city. I understand people have a craving for chocolate cakes and strawberries but when it comes to, to frogs, how's that work? Like, do you wake up in the morning going like, you know what I feel like today? like a big pot of frogs. I mean, that's a bit crazy. And where do you find frogs? I mean, the last time I saw a frog was like ages ago, but like so many frogs that you can cook them. I'm like, there has to be some kind of frog headquarter around here. So I did my research and to try to understand what was the big thing about frogs, especially in Lyon. And from what I could find, apparently, there is a region in the northeast of Lyon called Les Dômes. This is near the breast region where the chicken or the breast chicken comes from that is made of thousands of water ponds and there are man-made water ponds that were built by monks in the 15th century because the soil was full of clay. And this was the secret. People didn't believe in agriculture and they thought that uh, try to uh, raise you know, fish. So they make these kind of ponds and with the rainwater, what happens is it tries to have grass growing, lots of fish and stuff like that. And of course, who says fish and birds? Then there is frogs. And this is where it all happens. This area called Les Dombes or La Dombe was absolutely jam-packed with frogs. And people at the time used to fish frogs and it became some kind of a specialty and part of the meal. Unfortunately, Today, that practice has ceased because it's not viable on a massive scale and to catch frogs. And I went and buy frogs today at the uh, Bocuse market again. And uh, they told me that actually they came from Albania and Turkey, even though they were fresh. So everything gets important today. But it doesn't matter. Let's see how to make this frog. Now, if you've never seen uh, frogs before, or if you wonder what frog legs looks like, well, when you buy them, this is what you get. I've unpacked one to show you how it's prepared. So you get them already uh, skinned and everything. The end of, uh, of the, the legs here are cut off, so it's more neat. And we're going to be chopping uh, that part off. So we don't use that part. We only keep this. And these are the actual frog legs we're going to prepare. Now when you're done with the prep, I'll show you, they're just rolled in flour, cooked in butter and oil, and uh, they're just finished off with a, a sprinkle of parsley and garlic and served with a bit of lemon. So it's a bit of a snackish uh, dish here in Lyon, you know, something you get as a starter. But apparently it's quite tasty, so let's see how we go around it. Now the first thing you're going to want to do if you buy frogs is to remove the excess here because we're just keeping the legs. So with a knife, we're just going to cut this off. And sorry, uh, there's no real different way to show this, but this is what we keep. So you're going to reserve this on the plate and then we're going to wash them off. And here we are, uh, remove the excess and the top part of the frog. Here the frog legs, I still need to rinse them. But the first thing I wanted to uh, mention is that if you wonder like what kind of smell does it get when you cut them, is it really bad or anything like that? Well, actually not. Uh, you know what? It really smells like seafood. Um, shrimp kind of thing. You know, when you work with shrimp, that kind of seafood smell. So I feel a little bit better. And by the way, if you want to know, these are sold by the fishmonger and it is the fishmonger that sells frogs so there's a kind of a link because they live in water to seafood and fish so that's quite interesting now let's rinse them now frog legs like seafood and fish and same treatment you're going to rinse these uh, under clear uh, cold water to make sure there's no uh, pieces of you know black bits like that so you're going to still work with these to make them as clean as you can huh? Uh, so we, we want to have a nice product. Huh? So plenty of water and you rinse them all. All right, all done. And when they are basically uh, rinsed, uh, you're going to pat them dry with a, a, kitchen, uh, a kitchen towel. Uh, and I'm going to store them in the fridge uh, while I'm going to chop some parsley and garlic uh, to fresh them up. Always keep them in the, fri in the fridge. Huh? All right, so my frog legs are in the fridge and I've prepared what we call in French the persillade. Uh, so I've chopped some parsley and some garlic and towards the end of the cooking we'll be mixing these together. Uh, I've uh, taken some flour out and you can prepare some lemon that we're going to be using. That's all you really need for this. So now we're ready 
to cook the frog legs. But first, let's coat them in flour. And when you're ready to cook your frog legs, just before adding, uh, putting them in, in, uh, rolling them in flour, it's important to season them with salt and pepper quite well because frog legs can be a little bit on the bland side and they don't have too much taste. So good seasoning is important. Next, you take your frog legs that have been seasoned and you're going to roll them in flour. And then you will be tapping the excess like we always do to have just a thin coating of flour like I have got here. I don't want like a thick layer of flour. And once you have that, you reserve them on the side or on another plate. So you repeat the same for each of the frog leg. Now for the cooking, and we're gonna use a medium to high heat. I've got some uh, oil in there with a little bit of butter. You can also do it with just oil or just butter. It's up to you. So I'm gonna wait until that uh, butter kind of foams and you want a good amount of oil and butter and we're gonna put the, the legs in. Okay, the butter is chanting. Now, the way to put the, uh, the legs, you see there's a part with the muscles that are kind of nice and round and you want this part to touch the oil. So you go with the muscle, the nice, the round part like that, uh, touching the butter because that's gonna ensure we're gonna get a nice color. And this is what you want with the, uh, with the legs. Uh, you don't want something soggy. You don't want to move them neither too much. Uh, so we're gonna leave them in the pan until they color. So you can reduce your, your heat to medium here. And we'll keep an eye on it, making sure they just get that brown color. Now after a few minutes, one important thing is to always check if you get the enough color. So you just turn one. And you see that brown color? It's not yet brown enough, so you don't want to burn it, but you really want a nice kind of golden color. So you make sure before you turn them again, you wait to have that nice brownish color. Okay, I've just turned it again, and you see that kind of nice golden color? That's what I want. So at this stage, or even a little bit browner, we can start to turn all of the others. All right, so I've turned them all, and do you see now that the look of the legs starts to have that kind of chicken, uh, that fried chicken look, and this is what you want, and that makes it more uh, easy to eat. So you can think in your head, well, you know, I'm just making some kind of, you know, chicken wings, something like that. Huh? Does it look like frog? Nah, not really. And that's it, three to four minutes later, if I turn one of those, it really looks like just chicken wings, really. And this is done, so I'm going to take them out, remove the excess of oil, and we're going to put our persillade in. All right, here we are. So these are the frog legs and that's a cast iron pan. So what I've done, I've turned the heat off totally and I'm going to put that mix huh, of uh, parsley and garlic. So it's up to you huh, to see how much you put. But my advice is put your, your heat on, on off when you do this because the garlic can burn very quickly and you don't want to burn it because it's going to get a bit of a you know, bitter taste that you don't want that. So really the persillade is last minute in the pan you toss everything together and you serve. That's it. You know, you don't need to go uh, and leave that in a pan to cook. It's just a bit of a toss like that uh, to get all these flavors of garlic and parsley uh, with our legs. And then we're ready to serve. And now the moment I'm sure many of you have been waiting for <laughs> the tasting just before the plating, uh, the way it's uh, served, uh, it's uh, just with a bit of lemon. Uh, again, so very seafoody, so a little of uh, fresh lemon, and uh, well, let's have a go at that. So, I'm just gonna try to be human, detach a little bit of the flesh here. It's very tender, it looks like fish. It actually tastes like fish. You know what? Uh, to describe the taste, it's almost between chicken and fish, more on the fish side. Uh, it's like a like a meaty kind of fish, but honestly, there's no uh, there's no funny flavors. There's no um, you know disgusting flavors or anything you would expect. Like oh, it's got that weird taste. No, not at all. So honestly speaking, with the the garlic, the parsley, lemon, you do need seasoning. It is just perfectly seasoned now, but I can see this being very bland if you don't season it enough. But you know what? It's quite good. So let's do the final plating and wrap this up. Pooh, can you believe it, people? We've done it. We've done the frog leg recipe. I guess a lot of you have been asking, oh, can you make some frog leg? And here it is. 
I've played it the two legs that looks like legs, the other one went a bit uh, too funny to, to show you, but in a nutshell, basically, uh, these are the Lyon style frog leg with garlic and parsley. And so remember the key here, well seasoned uh, oil or butter or both and wait for these brown colors. Very important to serve this as a snack, as a little starter. Uh, with lemon and honestly in terms of taste it really tastes like fish so you don't have to worry about anything make sure you use them fresh because that's what's guarantee a clean taste but away from that guys that's it that completes the frog leg recipe and very easy to do so if you make your own twist with some spice or some other flavor do let me know in the comment how you go about it. if you've got another version of these frog legs and if you want to follow my adventure don't forget i've got a facebook account uh, Instagram account, uh, hashtag French Cooking Academy, and you can also join me on Patreon and become a patron on my Patreon page. It would be greatly appreciated. In any case, I'll see you all for my next recipe and uh, following my adventure in France next time on the French Cooking Academy channel. Take care all. Bye-bye.